excited. That's and probably as fast as I went almost all of last year, and it's only January, so or like all of last year in season. So definitely happy with it. Um, double O going, you know, at any point is, is, is solid. So I'll take it. Um, you have a new training partner as of late. Yep. Andrew Wilson. How yep. has that been? It's been awesome. Um, definitely, definitely a lot of fun to get some new blood in there. Um, just a fresh perspective on everything, and uh, he's, you know, he's good to race. You know, so it's 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 been good so far. And, I mean, we drove up. We're we're having an Airbnb here, so you know, even though we're competitors, we spend the same events. Uh, you know, it's it's fun having you know someone else to, to train with for sure. How much has he helped you having a training partner like that? Yeah, he's been. I mean, I was. He's been rolling with the punches, you know, under under Jack's training. You know, you're not if, if you're not used to it, sometimes it can hit you pretty hard. But he's been doing really well, so um, he's definitely impressed me, and, and I'm you know happy that he's been swimming so well. So uh, we he went to Short Course Worlds, and I went to Nationals, so we kind of weren't on the same you know training page at that point. But now that you know we're gonna get a good block of training under our belt, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. How so, was? Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm gonna ask an awesome question. So you oh. can go ahead. Um, how was winter break training? Uh, it's it was good. It was good. Um, Jack kind of likes to put us in the grinder and beat us up a little bit. So uh, you know, three days in a row of doubles and you know swimming on Saturdays and Sundays. So uh, you kind of just have to you know grin and bear it for a little bit. Um, but you know you, you come out better. You come out better, more in shape. And uh, it was I mean it was fun. I like I like that stuff. So it's it's been good. So you said you were saying at an Airbnb, have you gotten to experience any part of Knoxville? I'm with a local TV station. Oh, okay, cool. Have you experienced or seen any of the different kinds of cars? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we've been trying to rest, I guess, in between, so we haven't done too much exploring. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we, our, our Airbnb is really nice, so I like that. How do you like swimming in Georgia? What? How do you like swimming in Georgia? I love swimming in Georgia. Yeah, it's, I can't leave. Uh, it's, I've been there for seven years now, and every year I keep coming back, so uh, I, I like it, and, you know, it's good having a new training partner. We have a big post-grad group, and uh, it's fun kind of having a whole squad together, so. What are you getting out of uh, swimming in a meet so close after winter break? Um, just, you know, racing, I guess. It's, it's time to get that race mode. Um, you know, because if you don't do this meet, then you're kind of not doing anything until March, and that's, you know, a long time to not really have any racing in. So it's good to travel, and, uh, yeah, I, get, I mean, there's a lot of good breast strokers here, so it's good to see them and, and, and race them. It's, it's been fun. And you're going to Pan Am's with yes. uh, Kevin and Cody, some other pretty good breaststrokers, so what's it like to be a part of such a strong uh, group of breaststrokers in the U.S.? It'll be good. Uh, Kevin, Cody, me, and Will, I think, are all going. So uh, it'll be it'll be fun. Uh, you know, I've been on several trips with Kevin and Cody, so I don't know if I've been on the same trip as Will. But, um, yeah, I mean, all the breaststrokers are pretty good friends. Uh, you know, besides maybe the two minutes before and after races, uh, we're all pretty tight. So it's, it's good to, you know, have go on a trip where there's going to be four breaststrokers. Do you think it's better to be so competitive like that? Like, just so close in times? Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it definitely keeps it keeps me hungry, for sure. Um, just because if you have, you know, one bad swim, it can, um, you know, you know someone will be there to touch you out. So, uh, you know, just when I was, uh, you know, thinking I was closing on everybody tonight, Andrew was right there to touch me out. And if I didn't finish as fast, you know, Pernod was right behind me to touch me out. So it's, you know, every race, every time you swim, it's good to stay on your toes. And I think, I think U.S. breaststroke is is, uh, you know, coming to that next level as a group.